So that's going to extend our sight range out and about as we're traveling. Um, run up on the roof real quick, see if our sight range changes. So we are just not quite able to see over there. And I guess we're seeing right along that edge too. I'm not sure how the forest and all that kind of stuff blocks the sight ranges. Hey there, MGO Blue. Thank you very much for the resub. Appreciate that support. Yeah, take a look. So earlier we could see not quite to the R's or the parking lot. We were stopped right here. And then we were stopped right here. So we got the telescope built. We went up onto the roof and all of a sudden, instead of this line, we can now see all the way up to there. You can kind of see with the change that occurred. And now we can see the entire city area, which is kind of weird, given that there's forest between us and there. Guess that roof really, really helped. Uh-oh, we got multiple banks in this town. Mmm, banks. Maybe I can get some RM-13 combat armor. That would simplify things quite a bit. Of course, they put both banks almost right on top of the nameplate, so there's going to be a gazillion and four zombies in that area. Hmm. And bandits are still there because I've left the area, so they're kind of frozen in time. All right, but you can kind of see how the advantage there is. Get the telescope built and then uh, use rooftops to really, really extend that range. Alright, what are we up to? 10 a.m.? Got a little ways to go still. To have some more. Let's just finish off the odd stuff. And let's some... Alright, what next? Uh, didn't get any damage when we were running stuff over, so the vehicle's still in good shape. Got the telescope built, got the welding done. I don't remember what else I had on my list. Now it's probably a good time to sleep. Because, um, yeah, we should wake up right about the time the sun goes down if we want to go ahead and do the night run into town, which I kind of think I do. Get something a little more interesting done. So let's go ahead and grab that, get that put away so I don't forget it. I don't have a blindfold built, do I? I do not. I do not. Duct tape or... Let's do duct tape. Full health. Up to sleep we go. Uh-oh, I hear something out there. Gonna come banging. Good time to wake up. You think of steel blades and warm dripping blood. Alright, blindfolds off. Let's go. The moose... Moose has been stomping stuff. Hey there, Mr. Moose. Don't remember the grabber corpse being here. So he must have killed the grabber and something else. Good job, Mr. Moose. Hmm. Yeah, we'll grab the pretzels. Another zombie. 
All right. So, what we got? Get the rollerblades on. We're rocking the full duffel bag backpack combo. Everything else is in okay shape. Uh, let's drop just a few more things here. I think the tool belt's the next thing I'd really like to get put together. So, we can do the survivor belt, because I bothered to pick up those drop leg pouches and the sheath. That's why I grab things like that, because I know I'm going to want them for later. But, we're still short on the uh, screwdriver set and the wood saw. <laughs> Unless I get uh, all my metalworking stuff put together, we're going to be short on that for a little while. So, let's... Out of 45. Don't have a gun with me, but I don't usually use guns in the nighttime. Yeah, I guess it's not that big. Let's grab a gun. Let's take the take the M4. Alright. Let's go travel. Um the road's pretty clear, so we're just going to safe mode and fast move our way over to town. Hey there, tough zombie. Uh, let's put the machete away. I'm getting more and more in the habit of not carrying my weapon ready and out like that. I've kind of learned my lesson about having my cool weapons get disappeared on me by technicians when I don't notice. Especially when I'm running around in the dark like this, because their telekinetic range is longer than I can see. And uh, especially when I'm driving through towns during the daytime and I just can't pay attention to every single zombie around me. I tend to get my weapons disappeared when I have them out in my hand. And having them in a harness, strap, back, or uh, holster, all that kind of stuff means they're quick draw. So I'd rather keep them safe and then just pull them out when I need them. Speaking of which... Come here, scabbard. Alright. Ah, <laughs> and I instantly get poisoned. <laughs> uh, good job. Good job. Rozak. Military rucksack. So, it's possible the NPCs are still over here with guns, and I could just step into one and get my face shot off. So, that's uh, that's worrying me a bit. Wow, good amount of gas in that thing. Police SUV, huh? Alright, um, no... Somebody's in here. Who's in here? Penguins! Albino penguins! Haven't seen you guys in a long time. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Eight feet tall, ghastly white penguins. Placid, unless otherwise provoked. Yeah. I miss you guys. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, it's a whole herd of them. How many we got? They're up here smushing uh, zombies and skeletal dogs, are they? Deltec P3AT. That's a new weapon. I don't remember seeing one of those before. 380 ACP. Six rounds, huh? No thanks. What is that? That's the albino penguins. You never seen the albino penguins? You don't spend enough time underground in the sewers or in basements. They're pretty rare. <laughs> I only run into them uh, maybe once every 20 or so challenges do I see these guys. But again, I don't spend a lot of time in the subways where you're more likely to encounter them. So they, they tend to be in uh, the underground areas because they're albino. They're pretty fun.
Oh no, they've been in game forever. They've been in game for a long time, much longer than ten months. They're just really rare. <laughs> I I think I've only seen them in an actual live stream challenge, maybe three times have I been able to show people the penguins legitimately during a live stream. So that's how rare they are. I mean, I play a lot of Cataclysm, and that's all the amount I've ever seen. Alright, pretty boring house otherwise. Penguins were cool though. Glad we got to see them. Alright, Shock Zombie. Let's head over to the house over here. Still a little worried about walking face first into an NPC. Naturally, I break that. Good old trench coat. Um. Yeah, it's probably the last of the multi last of the multivitamins I'm gonna bother to pick up. Sling pack, huh? Still can't get my fingers used to uh, that extra key presses I need when things are sitting on tables. All right, um, let me go back outside. Necromancer. Whoops. Barrel hunter. At least it's not a predator. Already took damage. Hey you. Dude is just fast enough that I have to run to kind of break contact. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! There's my RV! There's my kitchen unit right there. Perfect condition kitchen unit. This thing drivable? Ooh, this thing might be drivable. It's got gas, it's got batteries, it's got wheels. Uh-oh, no controls, no seat. It's not drivable. But all I need to do is uh, get to it quietly and be able to get the kitchen unit out of it. Hmm. Hmm. Market's position. See if we can get uh, another vehicle that I can kind of distract these locals with. Another barrel. Don't own vehicle. Or not. Maybe I'll just go up to the museum first. Actually, there's going to be a crowd right out front of the museum. You know, because they like their culture. Oops, I don't want to get poisoned. Oh crap, don't be running. Okay, what kind of noise are we going to make? No armor on the bottom shelf. Holy crap. A lot of not much. Broadsword. That is a cheap, dull replica. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, well. My dreams of fitted chainmail and uh, all the other good stuff have been dashed. Scimitar. And another dull replica. Damn it. Alright, we got gypped. Okay, well, that was the main thing I was hoping to get to. Um, other than that, the RV kitchen unit would be a, a really nice score that would uh, speed things up a bit. There I go diagonal through the grass. I think I will. Hoping to get over here quietly enough that I can uh, take this apart. But I'm almost guaranteed something's going to detect me. It's going to take 20 minutes or something. So the chances I'm going to be able to stand here for 20 minutes are really, really low. <laughs> so safe mode on. We'll give it a try, though. Maybe we'll get lucky.
Kitchen unit. 21 minutes of me standing here while nearby zombies wander around hunting my scent trail. Very low likelihood this is going to work. <laughs> Damn it! Um... Actually, he makes noise. Yeah, no more coming. Now that they've started hitting the RV, they're going to shred it. That's the thing I feared. Hey, zombies. Come here. Barrel hunter's on me now. There's a zombie inside as well, which is not good. All right, let's do the old flashlight maneuver. Hey, zombies! You need to get that guy out of the vehicle at a minimum. One guy out. Come on. Get out of there, other separate zombie. <laughs> Trying to get this guy to come out this diagonal hole right here, but he's refusing. Being an a hole. Whoops! That was my bad. I forgot how close that guy was on the diagonal. Alright, now we're going to take some damage. He still won't come out of there. Come on, one more step, zombie. We're almost out. Getting kind of surrounded here. He still won't leave it. It's going to get shredded. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to get back to this thing. There's too many zombies in the area. They're hitting it from all sides. They're going to keep making noise, and all the local zombies are just going to disassemble this thing. I'm probably just going to have to give it up. It's too populous. All right. Flashlight off. We already took, took a shock blast I wasn't intending to take. Uh, a little crowded here. Another shock zombie. Alright, what else do we want to look at? Hmm. Could try to go look at this bank, but I just know it's going to be so ugly down there by the nameplate. Not to mention the, uh... Uh... Robocops. The security bots are going to be hanging out at that bank. Maybe we can find another good vehicle, though. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out. Take boat on. Don't care about you. Really kind of disappointed about having to pass up that, uh, that RV, though. Slim possibility I could get back to it. Now that if I stay out of the reality bubble range a little bit further, they won't shred it while I'm gone. So, we hear gunfire. That's from the security bot in the bank. Just about guarantee it. Um, front entrance has got to be on that street. I could go into that house and then try to go in that side. That also gives uh, security bots nice little corners that they can uh, be lurking around to shoot me from. Alright, again, you guys are supposed to be running after those gunfire noises, but no. Side. Unload. What do we got? Spiders! No! Giant cellar spiders! Get out of there! <laughs> Run away! Oh, my arch nemesis! Get away from me, cellar spider! Please don't come upstairs. Man, I hate those things! Uh, especially geared up as the way I am, in the way I am right now with the uh, 
duffel bag and everything. Those things would be damn near impossible to hit. They're so dodgy. Ah, zombie snapper. That's not a good thing to see right now. Hmm. Hmm. They can rip me up and tear apart my backpack pretty quick. Stay downstairs, spiders. Come on, zombie snapper. I need to see the zombie snapper come in the room. Follow me over here. Good enough. This is way more crowded than is safe. So, we do have a bank or a window across the way. So now the thing I have to consider is the time. It's 10 p.m. Even if I... Oh, I, I don't have a chance of getting into the bank vault. What am I doing? I can't get into the thing. I forgot I don't have my jackhammer with me or the uh, computer skill to hack my way in. So it's kind of a moot point here. We better just leave and get myself killed for no good reason. Alright, so we can't do banks right now. I'd have to drag my jackhammer down. And the jackhammer trying to get through the computer door or the bank doors is going to cause so much noise we're going to get swarmed. i got to have computer skill before I can uh, reliably get into banks. Uh, this close to the, the nameplate where all the zombies hang out. So, yeah, that's not going to work. Let's see what's around me, though. Do -do. Few zombies, few zombies, one or two. Don't care about the mega store necessarily. Well, I kind of care about it if I can actually maneuver in it. Not sure how crowded it's going to be in there. And I got a lot of zombies focusing on me right now. I don't want to drag them into the store with me and have to work my way out. Can't remember if there's a back door in the mega store. I assume there's got to be. Turn the flashlight off. We'll risk it. Oh, that's no glory. Wow, a trowel. Oh, metallic smoother. Backpack, a raincoat. Don't need any of that. Don't need any of those. Nope. More backpacks. From memory, there is not a back door. <laughs> a fencing saber? A fencing saber. Ah, six pierce. A weapon used. For, oh, the most noble of those fencing sabers, margin sure foil and epee, but no less effective. Uh, is that like supposed to be so low? <laughs> that seems weird. I guess that's more like uh, the current gentleman's art of fencing, where uh, you just tag somebody and uh, it's not actually intended to kill them. Because I'm definitely not going to use a Pierce 6 Bash 1 weapon. Precise Strike, Rapid Strike, and High Pair or High Block are all awesome, but, uh. Huh. That's kind of weird. Thought it would be a little more useful. Swim goggles. Actually, I need swim goggles. Where'd you go, swim goggles? Again. Materials for building other things later. Ah, now I gotta dodge around a uh, barrel. Nothing in the 
medical hunting knife. We'll take that. That's uh, the highest level butchering, short of the CDM. Don't need a runner pack. So, a little slower to search through at night, but on rollerblades with uh, half decent night vision. Is that a UPS charging station? You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> well, uh, I didn't know they sold these at the mega store. <laughs> That's interesting. Huh. I've already got mine, though. I'd be pretty excited otherwise. Another hunting knife. Don't need multiples. <laughs> Scuba tank. Alright, I think that's it. That's kind of interesting, though. Kind of makes me want to go check out that other one. Not sure I'm willing to uh, try to work my way over there, though. <laughs> hey, guys. You waiting for me? Whoops. Damn predator or hunters. All right. So we'll consider that one done. Hmm. Kind of interesting what we came across there. Still got plenty of weight and volume. Still fairly early. I haven't taken too much damage yet. Uh, but I'd have to cross a gap to either cross that road there or I'd have to go up and around. Which I could do. Nothing else down here I'm interested in going to visit. It's going to be way more dangerous than it's worth. Animal Pound could have some medical stuff, but uh, I'm geared up pretty good for that. I'm not going to worry about that. So, yeah, there's just not much here really for me. Short of making the trip around. We'll see if we can make a clean trip around to the uh, other mega store. If it gets dicey, I'll back off. Do, do, do. Ah, uh, the joys of rollerblading. Uh-oh. 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 Have a new frame! <laughs> Unfortunately, it's still attached. That's hilarious. I thought it was a freestanding frame I could just grab. But it's not. <laughs> it's, it's technically still part of the vehicle. Huh. Plus, it weighs a ton, if I remember right. So, if we try to remove... More than an hour. <laughs> and a lifting tool still. Yeah, that heavy duty frame lifting requirement sucks. I'm basically going to have to make a special dr trip with the uh, engine crane <laughs> just to try to get a heavy duty frame because it takes the lifting requirement. And or I got to find one. Uh, I'm, not think I'm not liking this arrangement much. Getting a little close to some nonsense here. Alright, feral hunters, time to leave you behind. Kevlar zombie! So I do have the uh, zombie evolution rate set at uh, double speed, so we're on day 28. We're going to start seeing a lot of specialty zombies, especially as I move to new areas and it unpacks brand new setups. They're going to be chock full of uh, upgrades, so it's going to start getting dangerous. I'm not geared up in a way I would be happy with trying to deal with some of that stuff. So I'm getting a bit behind my normal preferred curve. Usually by about day 30 I'm hoping to be pretty well set in my final gear for uh, whether it's survivor gear or whatever I decide on. V8, don't care. 
do the north side first. Ugh. Blocking my line of sight, damn it. So many refrigerators getting torn up. Oh, that's a hollow. Oh, crap. I can't believe I stepped that close to a hollow. That was silly of me. This one's going to be a pain. Wrestler. Another one i got to stay away from. Ouch! Oh, Predator! Predator leaps on me from the dark. That's not good news. And that we've got to run from. Printing time. Different tools section this time. I don't think I have a drill yet. useful in the tool section, unfortunately. Hmm. Pesto and grapefruit. Barney Shambler again. What the hell, has this one got multiple uh, food sections? Gospel of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Not what I was hoping for. Well, this one's proving a bit more disappointing. Hey, Zeramoth. Thank you very much for the support. Appreciate the resub. Another thorny shambler. Don't blame me. Damn it, get out of my aisle. I want those bandages. Yeah, this one's much less interesting, unfortunately. Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay. Um, I think it's just time to head back. Duct tape. All right, we'll take the duct tape. I can still use some of. Ah, butcher shop. No thanks. More try at the RV? Ah, we got the attention of something I don't want to deal with. Necromancer's guarding the RV. <laughs> Making my life difficult. Ah, I got biled. So, if you get bile bombed, use a towel. Activate a towel. You wipe your face off, basically. It's rid of the blindness and the bile notifications. Need a lighter. More flashlights. Oh, 
Oh, what do we got? Security van. Two liters of diesel. 2% battery. It's got all the parts. Security system's broke. Perfect engine compartment. Hmm. I don't think I'll have enough to get it started. What's in the gun rack? SP 9 mil. Oh, it did start up. <laughs> um, do I care, though? Not enough gas to make use of it. I could drive it up to have... Yeah, if, if I can get it out of town, I can use it really quickly to uh, get my heavy-duty frame. Drive fast. All I need it to survive is far enough that I can, uh, yeah, perfect. Whoops. I assume that was a boulder or a tree. Well, okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that at the last second. Well, give me all the parts I need to get my uh, own security van repaired up now. We've got uh, plenty of frames and doors and all that good stuff in a nice convenient location. So, yay! Lucky find right there at the exit. And we even get two liters of gas out of it. Activate the sheath with a steak knife. Don't need the steak knife anymore. Hunting knife it is. What is it? 12 a.m. So, now we've got to make some other decisions. I think first thing I'm going to do is, before I do anything else, let's get the, uh, not the jackhammer. Uh, All right, engine crane, let's take off the door over there. Oh, that's right. <laughs> 300 pounds. Um, I think it's going to let me do this. Oh, it will. Cool. Well, that's interesting. You need a lifting tool to get it off, but you don't need a lifting tool to put it on. <laughs> that seems a little odd. Okay, and there we go. We've got the door replaced. Now we've got a solid exterior. Animals and such won't be able to uh, get into our vehicle. Let's also, while we're here, take this seat out. And... anything else I'm gonna try to make cargo carriers
Alright, well, I'm very happy about that. Um, the only thing I was disappointed about was we weren't able to get the kitchen unit out of that RV, but it was just not going to work. Not convenient. Going up north is a bit problematic. State Park's nothing interesting for me, um, and it's solid forest kind of wrapped around this town, so I wouldn't be able to maneuver. So I'd have to either drive around and up this way and hope it connects to uh, work my way around it. Nothing in Wakefield that I'm interested in. Hmm. Either wing monotone. Um, not too much excitement. We just got back from our first and only night raid so far this evening's run. Mostly we've been getting uh, some infrastructure stuff done. Got our food sorted. Got our our van completely repaired. Uh, we're still missing a few components. I still need to get the kitchen unit in. And to make one, there's a few things I would need. Steel plates, easy. I need electronics to get the hot plates and uh, the others we could do, no problem. Faucet we can get easily. Frying pan, I haven't done any of the metalworking stuff and we don't have a good supply of it sitting around right now, so. Yeah, I know, the onboard chemistry lab. I, I vacillate between the onboard chemistry and the uh, RV kitchen unit just based on whether I plan on doing uh, mutations or not. If I'm doing any kind of a mutagen run or uh, mutations, I usually go with the chemistry station. And just have a pot nearby. Chemistry station plus a pot serves the exact same function as a kitchen unit. I haven't been into a lab yet, so. Frame, chemistry set, water faucet, power converter. Again, not hard to get except for the chemistry set. I don't have the ability to make it quite yet, so. Each has its own little tricky bit. They're not critical right now, though. I got plenty of food and water handy. It's just more a convenience issue than anything. Um, I really would like to avoid the whole metalworking process if I can do it. Um, I'd like to because it's pretty time consuming. Not as bad when you've got all the materials laying around and the uh, welder and such, but uh, it can still be a bit of uh, an issue or a time frame sink. Good old quarterstaff, iron shod. One of these days, I'm going to try a quarterstaff run. I tried it once, and I just wasn't impressed. Got to be something to it I'm missing. People swear by the quarterstaff. I also have not yet... Not yet come across the... Uh... better. <laughs> Thanks there, Inkulov. Hopefully getting better. And uh, thank you again for the uh, resub. Very much appreciated. Um, I also haven't run across uh, good sources of Kevlar so I can get my uh, survivor gear put together. I've got a few boots that I can take apart, but that's not going to be nearly enough. So I think we're going to try to flip-flop back to our day cycle and do some driving. And uh, see if we can locate helicopter sites and um, the uh, short version of the fire truck. It's got all the uh, clothing for the firefighters that I can take apart for the Nomex and the uh, Kevlar. Then I can finally get my quote-unquote final gear put together for protection factor, and that'll open up a lot more combat options for us. Um, but yeah, I'd like to really, really try to not go down the metalworking line if I can manage it. I'm just not sure I'm going to be able to. We'll see how things work out. Um, we could go back down south to our old home grounds because we've got a lot of material laying on the ground out here. But man, I'd really avoid it. I'd rather not go back there. So, I think I'm going to take some uh, cough syrup. We're going to try to sleep and then we're going to try to get some, some driving done, I think. Try to remember to grab the two liters of gas out of that, uh, that security van. That's another thing we're going to need to be careful to get a hold of. I still only have the one bottle of standard cough syrup. That's another weird thing. Alright, let's throw our blindfold back on and sleep. Yes, let's say... Seven hours. 
So if you weren't aware, you can try to force sleep by uh, taking cough syrup. It uh, dials up your fatigue number enough sometimes to uh, let you sleep a little earlier than you might otherwise do. If you're trying to get a certain day-night sequence going. So, 10 a.m., perfect. That's what I was hoping for. So, blindfold off. We didn't take hardly any hits, so our gear is in good shape. We're back to full strength. We've got all the tools and stuff. As long as I'm doing the double backpack duffel bag, we've got plenty of space. I'll keep the gun on me just in case we run into something I need to deal with quick. And other than that, I think we're going to go ahead and get moving. So, vehicle's completely repaired. Let's just uh, relocate it slightly here. So, that's my major concern, is uh, diesel. Got to find some diesel. Right damn now. Even if I have to grab a jerry can and go rollerblading around through a town to find it. So, where are we going to travel? We could go down the road and then work our way around the buildings here. See if we spot a few things. I'm not sure where we're going to go from there, but let's do that. Doesn't look pretty, but uh, it's a really good vehicle for uh, early game travel. I mean, it's got the heavy duty frame and the steel plating, which is perfectly adequate, especially once you get the storage batteries and the welder in. You can easily ram over things. Just can't do like whole schools or stadiums of zombies. And uh, ah, there's a good roadblock. Good, good job, guys. You finally got a roadblock actually going across the road. <laughs> You keep putting them in cities, which I don't advise, but um, whatever. More power to you. But yeah, it gives you enough ramming power for emergencies. Ooh, another another security van. Um, hmm, too many zombies for me to face first into it. Oh, there's another RV. Luxury RV. But it's daytime. We are right on top of an office tower. And a whole lot of zombie horde indicators. That is not going to work. That's going to be too dangerous for me to get out in the middle of. Much as I would like to get the gas out of the security van and get the kitchen unit out of that RV. That's, uh, that's asking for trouble. Alright. Dumps are interesting. You can get some interesting stuff out of dumps. So... Ovens, washers and dryers, refrigerators, ropes, refrigeration units. Yeah. All right, not too interested in that one. And Rex. Oh, oh, that's the uh, turrets from the radiation facility. <laughs> Whatever an irradiation plant is, it's got turrets. Get out of the way, stupid deers. So, that's the whole front end of it. There's a turret on that corner, turret on that corner. And... Vehicles, computer. Looks like you might be up. Oh, no, turret right there, too. And right there. <laughs> All right, lots of turrets. Four turrets right here at the entrance. That's plenty enough space for them to hit every single area on that front line. One of these days, we'll come check it out. Not right now. I'm soldier. All right, so now we've seen pretty much all we're going to see of this place. I think it's time to just bail. So I have to make a decision. Do we head north into the unknown? Or head way over that direction? Back towards our, our really exciting junkyard school location. We never really searched all of this out. 
little tiny towns like Hanover here might be good. Little four-way streets. We might get lucky with a uh, vehicle, and I might be able to kill the local zombie population to get to it. I just need to make sure wherever I run out of gas, it's near a road or a town, so I have a chance of uh, rollerblading in to get some diesel. So, let's head that way. Security vans aren't the speediest things on off-road. But, since I tend to drive super slow anyway, it doesn't really bother me all that much. Alright, come on! Big ol' helicopter crash sites. Give me a UH-80 helicopter crash site or an Osprey. With lots and lots of... Uh, Bio-operators and scientists. Giant sinkhole. That sounds fun. That's interesting looking. No helicopters, no body sites. Unfortunate. You go, where you at, me go? Find sight? like a science site to me. Hunting knife? Nope, not a science site. Bag of granola! Canteen, boots, backpack. Nah. I already got access to all that stuff. Alright, this is where I'm hoping for some lightly populated streets, four houses, <laughs> and two houses, and a small wooded trail. That's weird looking little riverbank conglomeration right there. <laughs> Yeah, give me lucky on the vehicles. Give me a military vehicle in here somewhere. Nope. With such luck. Like an ambulance to the north. Ah, two ambulances. One of them a wreck. Wreck with no items in it. Sneak around to the backside, see what's possibly in this ambulance. One basket, yes. Back basket, no. And couldn't quite see the other basket. Hmm. things up there. Debating whether I want to stop and hop out. No dangerous zombies. I think I will. Let's stop here. They can all see me, so they should come towards me instead of beating up my vehicle. Acid zombie. Alright, what you got? Antibiotics, first aid kit, disinfectant. Eh, well, that's pretty good. Nothing in this one. Cargo spaces. Be nice to grab the cargo spaces. See, there's a basement in this house. Let's go check the basement. Survivor basement. Alright, so it got survivors? It does. Hmm. Um, these guys can actually hurt me, and it takes a bit of a bit of effort for me to kill these with my machete, because their cut resist. Um, I'm a little worried about firing guns down here, but I'm thinking of unlimbering the uh, the rifle, or I could try to run past them and just take the hits. 
I'm going to try to run past them. So we're going to wait here one round. We're going to go one, two, then over and down. What do we got? 240, sports drinks, sewer rat corpses, nothing else I care about. The milk rotten. <laughs> hey there, attack. Thank you very much for the gib and the tip. Appreciate that. Good wake up. Alright, nothing here that's interesting me. Wow. Well, I guess we'll grab the pork and beans and tomato and the syrup, and we're out of here. Alright, let's go down and around these guys again. We're out of here. Alright, zombies. No, I want to go that way. Oh, the bathroom was up there, was it? <laughs> Hands are kind of loud. Right. We'll go without the bathroom for now. Hey there, Mr. Necro. Um, see a pretty good amount of that house. I'm not seeing any basements. There's a basement. God dang it. <laughs> Boomered spider basement. Which kind? Black widows. All right, black widows are no problem. That'd be a pretty easy one to get to to clear for our exterminator challenge portion. Gonna hit me again. Old vegetable salad. Stupid mic mute. <laughs> I wasn't talking about anything important. Oops. Outdoor adventures, huh? Eh. Alright, let's head back up to the vehicle. 
before I run out of stamina from being overweight. So, we didn't get lucky with uh, vehicle selection anyway. A couple more houses, but nothing else. I think I'm going to cut across to the northeast there. That was a nice soothing 30 minutes, huh? Little toxic waste dump, huh? Um, Mount Dece Garland. Oh, we have an anthill. That's going to make things messy. That's going to be messy. What are we looking at? 3.5 liters. I'm starting to get a little desperate on the old diesel. Start taking some chances. Um, go south along the road to check it out. That's towards the ant hill. Now uh, let's circle. 